pulverize a preview. When Evan Bella sits down to play this organ, he can boast that it's the oldest in Oklahoma and that he spent nearly a year of his life rebuilding it. I'm Galen Culver on The Next Great State, an interesting century where you can listen to this fine instrument this Sunday next on Oklahoma's News 4. You're watching Oklahoma's News 4 at 5 with Lance Wool Trailers, Fifth Wheels, Toy Haulers, Motorhomes, and Diesel. Uh, welcome back, friends. OKC, two years after statehood, was still kind of a wild place. Uh -huh. But a Methodist church on 8th and Lee scraped together enough money from the offering plate to buy a new pipe organ. And that same organ is now the oldest of its kind in Oklahoma and has a new home in Norman. Galen Culver went to church early to take a listen. Our first Sunday to play it was Christmas Eve. More than just practice, when Evan Bellis sits down to play this particular pipe organ, it's still almost a religious experience. The redemption story is certainly there. The Hinners Company of Eakin, Illinois, built it for the German Methodist Church in Oklahoma City back in 1909. One of the city founders, Anton Klassen, and the rest of the congregation put a few extra $20 gold pieces in the plate, and there it played until the morning of April 19, 1995. The Murrah bombing seven blocks away shifted the organ off its foundation. Performances largely stopped. It was suffered a lot of water damage and just physical dust and dirt was in it. Hope was in short supply until the American Organ Institute at OU found it and reached out to Pastor David Nairns about saving it. I actually went there and disassembled the thing piece by piece and stored it in their warehouse and has been working on it ever since. The Trinity Lutheran Church in Norman used an electric organ for years, but they passed a modern collection plate and gave new life to this old hinner, which turns out to be unique for its longevity. Being it's the oldest extant surviving instrument to the state. Pastor Nairns can't hear his new organ from his own office, but he can feel its life from the front of the sanctuary. I love pipe organs because it's a living, breathing instrument. Both he and Evan Bellis have noticed the congregation gathering closer to feel it too. And we see people moving in towards the center so they can really feel it and really get the full experience of hearing it. So many pipe organs have gone, been ripped out, sold for scrap. This one was lost for a little while, but is now saved, sitting right at home in another old church where the breath of life is still a sweet, sweet song. In Norman, Galen Culver News 4. Is this a great state or what? The Trinity Lutheran Church is holding a dedication concert this Sunday afternoon for their newly restored pipe organ. And if you'd like to go, it will happen at 3 p.m. in the afternoon. And it's How a good thing they'll be is, inside. Huh? Yes, yeah. it's going to be freezing 60s today, but brutal temperatures this weekend. A live look outside.